Staying on the diamond sectional softball getting underway. A good one in 4A at Carroll High School. Northrop and DeKalb close game until the top of the sixth. Ashland Bixby scores with a wild pitch. That part of a five-run inning to blow it open for the Bruins. It was 10-3. Northrop looking good, but this is DeKalb in the sixth. Catherine Knepper in the left. Jade Michael scores. It's now 10-4. Top of the seventh, Bixby. She's only a freshman and goes opposite field for a home run. Northrop moving on in a tight one. 13-9 over to Cal. We played them on Friday, and um, uh, they actually beat us. And we came out this time, and we beat them, and it was a good game. Everyone had their bats, and they had their own part in the game. It was a great battle. It was a two and a half hour, or two hour and twenty minute game. I mean, it went back and forth, back and forth, and we got blessed, and we we came on top. Next up, Northrop facing the winner of this one, Snyder and East Noble. The Knights already came in with 18 wins on the season. Top of the first, Snyder doing work, though. Kennedy Bond doubles into right. Jade Linemeyer scores, Madeline Smith scores, and the Panthers feeling good. They're up to zip right out of the gate. Bottom of the second, though, East Noble fires back. You knew they would. Malia Hampshire with a two-run double. East Noble goes on to win this one 13-6, so it's the Knights playing Northrop at 6 o'clock tomorrow in the second round. 3A action up at Garrett High School. The host Railroaders facing the SAC champs, Bishop Dwenger. Bottom of the first, Dwenger at work. Sandy Freistroffer in the center. Cecilia Garrett in. That knots it at 1. And then in the fourth, you're going to see more from the Saints. Lexi Linder with a base knock to score a pair. And Dwenger goes on to beat the host Railroaders in this one by a final of 10-2. In the nightcap up at Garrett, a good one between Angola and New Haven. This ball game tied at one in the fifth. New Haven's Kirsten Braun up the middle. Emily Cordray scores, and the Bulldogs take a 2-1 lead. In the seventh, Angola trying to make some noise, maybe get this one into extras. Doesn't happen. The Bulldogs close it out, and New Haven hangs on to beat highly favored Angola in this one by a final of 2-1. Uh, this one's very big for us. We were the underdogs coming into this. Every newspaper counted us losing this. And it's huge for our program not coming and winning a lot. But uh, we came all out tonight and showed us what New Haven really is. Oh, the Cinderella story could continue tomorrow. New Haven plays Dwenger at 5. That's followed by Lures versus Concordia.